Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about wrist pain during training and in particular during exercises like planks, push-ups, burpees and handstands, anywhere where you're bearing weight through your hands. I'm going to tell you why you're feeling this pain, what you can do during your training session to release this pain and we're going to finish off with some exercises to help you prevent wrist pain in the future. Alright, let's get straight into it. So let's start with why you're feeling wrist pain. Now there's usually two main causes. Number one, you've changed your training routine and now you're spending more time on your hands. So maybe you've incorporated more planks, more push-ups, or you've even started handstand training. Now if you think about it, our hands aren't accustomed to our body weight. So if you're now spending more time on your hands, there's more pressure through the wrist joint, a joint that's not prepared for it. Number two is the way you're placing your hands down on the ground. So if you're not placing your hands down correctly, we're gonna be placing too much load through the small bones, muscles, and joints in our wrists. So now that you know why you're getting wrist pain, let's go through some training modifications that you can make to help you relieve that pressure out of your wrist, relieve that pain, and most importantly, continue training doing things like planks, push-ups, burpees, and handstands, and getting those fitness gains. Now, modification number one is really important if you're getting pain constantly. So chronic pain through your wrist, even if you're not training. Now, it's really important to unload the wrists here and avoid any exercise that aggravates the wrist joint. So you can do things like elbow planks, elbow side planks, or if you're doing handstand training, you can stick to things like headstands and elbow stands. Modification number two is if you can still weight bear on your hands during the first part of your session, but you're not really feeling that wrist pain until a little bit later on as you spend more and more time on your wrists. Now this modification is all about our hand placement. So the way our hands connect down onto the ground. And of course, this is relevant for any exercise like planks, push-ups, burpees, and our handstands. Now feel free to join me in this so you can get a little bit of a feeling of how we modify our hand placement. So you can just do this in a kneeling position. Now when we place our hands down, we wanna make sure we spread our fingers out nice and wide. And this helps to increase the base of our support and helps us to spread the weight out amongst our hands rather than just in the wrist joint. Now, now that the fingers are spread out nice and wide, we wanna to begin to press the fingertips nice and firmly down onto the ground. And you'll probably start to see your knuckles starting to lift and maybe a little bit of activation through your forearms. Now that you've activated your fingertips, I want you to slowly lean your shoulders forward. As you lean forward, you can feel how the weight now disperses through the fingers rather than dumping 100% through the wrists. Now, like I mentioned, this is important anytime your hands are connected to the ground. So I want you to try and remember that tip. So you can use this next modification if you're doing that good hand placement, but still starting to feel some of that pain in the wrist. Now, all you need to do for this one is come up onto knuckles and you can do this in planks, push-ups and in burpees. All right, so our final modification number four is really useful if you do have some equipment available. So in particular, dumbbells or parallettes. So you can do all of the exercises I've mentioned, either using your dumbbells and parallettes, and that's gonna keep the wrist joint nice and straight and remove any pressure that you might be feeling there. So now that you have a little bit of an action plan for your training session, I'm gonna take you through some extra exercises that are really gonna help prevent wrist pain in the future. Now there's two things we're working on here, mobility and strength. And both of these are really important to not only prepare our wrists to bear our weight, but to also place our hands correctly down on the ground. All right, so we're gonna start with mobility. And this is something I usually do before my workout. So if I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on my hands, this is part of my warm up routine. Now you can come into a kneeling position here. We're just gonna bring the hands together, creating one big fist and we're rolling around. So as much as we can in all different directions. So this is a great way to mobilize the wrist joint, but also warm up the forearm muscles. You can split the hands here, creating two fists, doing circles in one direction and the other direction. And then linking the fingers and this time doing roller coasters. So wrists moving up and down, 
So this is stretching the tops and the bottoms of the wrist joint. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna come forward into a kneeling position and we're gonna stretch through the tops of the wrists. So we're gonna flip one hand over, knuckles down, and pressing the top of the hand down onto the mat and changing sides. So just alternating side to side until you feel like you've got a little bit more mobility through the top of the wrist. Now, once you've done that, we're now gonna stretch through the bottom of the wrist, this time turning the fingers towards the knees and pressing the palm down as far as you can. And again, changing side to side. Now feel free to mix up the movements here. So you can even come into a crossover and then knuckles down as well. And even mixing up the movements. So kind of surprising the wrists here and doing any sort of movements. And remember the more mobility you have, the better it's going to be for your training and preventing pain. All right, so moving on to strength now. So all of these exercises are targeted at forearm strength. Now our first exercise, we're going to come forward into our kneeling position, spreading the fingers out nice and wide and pressing the fingertips down into the ground. So our good hand placement. We're going to circle the shoulders around one direction and then circle the opposite way. So we want to do 10 circles all up. Now, as you do this exercise, you'll be able to feel those fingertips switch on and also begin to feel those forearms start to warm up and activate. All right, and our final exercise, we're gonna remain in that kneeling position. Again, fingertips spreading out nice and wide. Now, as you are doing these strength exercises, if you feel like you need to come up for a break at any time, give them a bit of a shake, come into those mobility exercises, and then you can get back into it. All right, we're gonna do finger push-ups with this one. So spreading fingers out nice and wide, fingertips pressing down. Keep pressing through the fingertips and we're gonna to aim to lift the palms of the hands. So it's like two spiders underneath you. And then slowly lowering down. So we wanna make sure this movement is slow and controlled and you can really begin to feel those forearms activate. Now, if you're just starting out, I do suggest to lean back a little bit so there's less weight through your hands, and we're gonna aim for 10 reps. As you get a little bit stronger through your forearms, you can begin to lean forward so there's more weight through your hands now, and you can up that to two sets of 10 reps or three sets of 10 reps. So there you have it guys, hopefully this video has given you a little bit more clarity on why you're feeling wrist pain and most importantly some go-to modifications and exercises you can incorporate in your training to prevent wrist pain in the future. Now if you liked this video give it a thumbs up, if you want to see any videos from me in the future write it down in the comments below, hit subscribe to see more from me and I can't wait to see you next time.